It's Valentine's Week, when the Greendale human being is the Cupid being, delivering your gift to that special someone. But remember, Cupid's face is magic marker on nylon, so love is not only blind, but also dizzy and a little belligerent. I'm chaperoning tomorrow's dance. You should come. Maybe your study buds will go. What's the blonde's name? Bitter Butter Beetlejuice? Britta, yeah, she says Valentine's Day ritualizes a connection between affection and candy so girls can learn the ropes of prostitution. Translation, no date. I'm gonna join you at that dance. But as a novice boyfriend, can I get a map of the minefield known as women's Valentine expectations? Every day of the year, I want you to do what makes you happy. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be happy spending the night with an insatiable statistics professor. <laughs> Now it has arrows. That's safe. Oh, it's from that cook with the long oh. beard in the cafeteria. I guess when he said, I'm going to get you, um, he's meant chocolates. Oh, a flower from Vaughn. He's away on a vision quest. You got something up it? Another muffin basket from another actress who wants to be in my next film. Does that work? Yep. Meryl Streep has two Oscars because of her baking. Oh, that's sarcasm, but I forgot to inflect. This sounds way more like sarcasm. Inflection is so interesting. That big bag uh, at the bottom, is that for me? Anything in there for Troy? Troy Barnes? Uh, Barnes, comma, Troy? Who cares about getting things? It destroys the true meaning of Valentine's Day, the birth of St. Valentine's. Oh, good. Now it has arrows. That's safe. Sorry I'm late. Okay. Actually, you look very early. Oh, God, I'm really late. Yes, yes you, are. you are. See you later. Oh, so late.